Okay, let's talk about Ruili here, huh? How John has been smiling all through the savage battle, but now that smile has vanished without a trace. By that slight change, the atmosphere uh, uh, between the two takes a wholly different quality. Yeah. Wow. At times coldly mocking, at times teasing and mysterious, how Jun's serene smile was a constant presence. Now, absent the mask that had been so much part of uh, his otherworldly aura, his true face is at least revealed. It is like a death mask in a plaster, utterly devoted of emotion and its emptiness. Eh. Exactly. I can uh, like, I can see like, uh, because I don't think like we got to see if that was actually the marriage out of like their like both consent, right? I think like it could be the case that uh, basically it was like um, forced marriage, right? Like a political marriage or something, and truly really basically been forced to marry Ta uh, Hao Jun. Finding himself with no response, Tao Luo at least realized what should have been uh, so clear as day. Just as Haojun said, we really never once spoke longingly of her marriage. Tao Luo always assumed that she was just being shy, but now he realized that her uh, retrincence went beyond that. Yeah, so basically everything that we had like in previous episodes when Ruili been like master, uh, like uh, the game master basically of everything. It seems like actually it's a truth. Like she really did want Tao Luo to come back and, and everything, and she didn't really care what would happen to her. Ruili had always been a lively, free spirited girl. Why? Would she be so reserved about what should have been the happiest event of her life? Those words, more potent than any town, obliterate Tao Lu reason with the force of the supernova. As a man with a sister, even acknowledging their uh, meaning is unthinkable. Yeah, so this is basically the case when she loved Tao Lu more than just the brother and she couldn't marry him because they were siblings. That's basically the case here. Why recently uh, in like novels I read or read like this is actually a, a thing, a topic, like from the top of my head, I wait, one, at least one, I think there's two novels that I've read on this channel that had this topic and that's being the case. Let me think for a second, it's been one... I don't want to like give any titles to not give you spoilers, but if you've read, if you watch the series and or read the novels that I've read, then you probably know where the sibling wanting to marry the brother slash sister, as I think, uh, but couldn't. So it's been wait one. This is second one and third one. Um, I'm not sure now, but I think like there was a third one and it was, oh right, and there is a third one, yeah, yeah, and it's been pretty recent, at least like 
the recent one is just like speculation for now because we still don't know really but it seems like the case okay ただ兄としての優しさしか見せなかった貴様に、どれほどルイリーが心さえなまれていたか、貴様さえ気づいていれば、ルイリーの思いを組んでいてやれば、彼女は救われていたんだ。そんな。いや。Yeah. Images flash that all was heard. A sister who cared for her brother more than most. A sister who depended on her brother more than most. That was all there was to it, he thought. How could he have imagined that beneath her affection burned the flames of unholy passion? Yeah. <laughs> キサマを思い煩って追い詰められて、あの子が少しずつ壊れていったのも相応の罰というわけ。わあ、わあ。そんな愛しい男と結ばれぬまま形だけの幸福を手に入れるより、ルイリーは欠けなしの。いや、ライ
Assaulted by the wave of dizziness, so strong that the ground beneath his feet seems to be crumbling away. Literally happiness was everything to him. Her smile was the only thing that gave meaning to his life. What if it was all a lie? Against uh, what? Then is he supposed to lose his hatred and anger? Yeah, like... I guess like... You could like solve this like in other ways. But ultimately if like... Ru'ili like... Made a decision and forced them to do this. Then it's been like too late to talk to Tao Luo and they made like a whole plan and Liu just wanted a revenge on Tao Luo for like making really basically suffer for not recognizing her of like what's happening I think that's the case right for what purpose has he sacrificed his humanity and taken so many lives who's that? His only hope of salvation lies in denial, but Haojun counters his weak rejection with malicious smile. あの子の巻き散らされた腹綿を拾い集めながら、貴様は類類を組み立て直して、彼女の内側を覗いたはずだ。貴様を偽ることもしない。so splitting her soul into fragments was to show Tao Luo bit by bit how really feels about him without her being able to hide anything and just being like true self because she don't have like full like full soul so only like bits of her are like surfacing and surfacing and now she's like at the level where she, where her love actually is showing up, right? Because like she kissed Tao Lu and everything a um, few episodes ago. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now it makes more sense. It's not because of the previous gyros but because of like what actually happened to her no okay that makes more sense now that weird dialogue Toro wept in abject fear uh, back then for only two possibilities loomed before him Either really so had somewhat twisted by the transfer, or that the seductress had been a part of really all along. If the latter were true, then it would mean that he had failed to see the truth. The image of really he'd held dear for so long was what was truly twisted. <laughs> Yeah, and you've always been on your like assassination missions, basically. She always wanted for you to stay. We remember from the backstory, she always asked him like, Hey, will you stay? And he's like, Nah, you know, I have a job to do. Although what can be a no bear no more of this. If he does not stop Haojun now, he will be lost forever. If he cannot silence him with words, that leaves only one option. And now this is going to be the desperate fight from him. This is going to be like denying the truth, basically, kind of fight. Okay, it's not even a fight. He's just like desperate and he's just like launching himself. Tolo leaps upon Haojun with a de de uh, deranged roar, his blade poised for the kill. Despair and fear, emotions are terrible and potent, and even hate uh, have granted new strength to his feeble legs. But the strength alone cannot overcome Haojun. He casually deflects the Watao attacks, unflinching in the face of Tolo madness. 
俺は手に入れたすべてをルイリーに捧げるつもりだったあの子のためならば世界も取る柄にもなく意気込んだ頃もあったけ、okay. never wanted that huh she always thought about Taolo instead of you he laughs once a dry and hollow sound and then an indescribable emotion glazes his eyes だが彼女は何も望まなかった Yeah. So, this is basically a revenge and also jealousy from, uh, from Hao Jun here. He wants a revenge for, for Ruili that he made her basically unhappy, right? Because Liu wanted her to be happy, Ruili wanted to be with Tao Luo, and Tao Luo basically made her unhappy. That's like a big short. And so he wants a revenge on Tao Luo and also he's jealous of Tao Luo because really wants to be with him instead of uh, of Liu. Even though Liu is doing everything he can to give really every, everything he can. Yeah. That's not what she wanted. Yeah. Liu Jun, the demon eyes eyed Adonis, the mad tyrant who used his power to lead everything into ruin. Who can know the empty? Who can know the emptiness of his soul? From the day he learned the truth, how Jun was as good as dead. Slowly but surely, with no one the with no one the wiser, his heart was consumed by incurable desire, the, uh, the disease called despair. Kono toen koso, sekai no katachida, nani mo kamo, koste karete horobileba yi. I wonder if like there's something else that you told me that would be like the a dump ending, I would say, outside of this because I don't think like the current situation is really that uh, dump, you know. Like I think like it's like actually a good like like the only problem I have with this is that I I've, I've had this trope like three times already in like recent uh, recent visual novels. So this is something that is like not that much bothering me right now because I had like to deal with this like three times now. But yeah, it's like pretty good, I would say so far. It's not a bad, it's not a bad like plot twist, you know. This is a good plot twist actually, if you like read it for the first time and don't expect anything. Yeah. I think it's fine. It's been a trope. A few times already. Hojun roars with laughter, his rap uh, with rapier holding as it plays uh, Tao Luo Flash. Rage may have dual Tao Luo skills, but Hojun's sword is as godlike as ever. But even as it curves chunks from Tao Luo's body, his blade deliberately avoids striking his vital areas. Oh my god, he's like slicing the parts of him. Oh. How Jun clearly intends to torture his prey to the very end. So... Taolo, however, no longer feels his wounds. Driven solely by the desire to exact vengeance on How Jun, he has transcended pain and exhaustion to become a feral beast bent on his enemy's destruction. Toward a gift. Wow. How do I softly and he curves away a Taolu of sergeant detached precision, seemingly entranced by the needs of blood filling the air. This is like a so you want them to be like together after death, basically. Damn. Ryu is crazy to like 
mud and everything, but <laughs> he really does everything he can. <laughs> what the hell? Unless he mean like literally fusing Tao Luo so with Ruili. That would be messed up. How the fuck that would work? Can you even do this? Like that's would be like extremely different person at this point. That's not even the same vessel. In the shadows of the gazebo, the girl watches all uh, over it all. Okay, so Leo really sees this, but she doesn't really have like emotions of her own, right? The little really is more emotional than her right now. So she probably don't understand what's happening. Yeah, maybe little really is here as well, we'll see. But that's in the next episode, I guess. So I'll just save here. And yeah. Thank you for joining for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. So yeah, we got the reveal, what's uh, been the case, and uh, actually the things I theorized in the previous episodes actually been the case. So really actually being like the mastermind behind everything and she wanted this to happen to her uh, because of her, of Tao Luo. So yeah, uh, anyway. Thank you for joining, and I guess like next episode we'll see the ending of the series. Well, I don't know how much is there left, but it's like we are getting closer and closer. So yeah, leave up a like if you liked the episode, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and I'll see you next one. So thanks for watching and follow Pocket Watch. Let's go out.